new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in it. Hey YouTube, it's Jason with JJ Drones and today we are riding with my trainee, Ryan. Say hi, Ryan. Hello, everybody. So we stopped here in beautiful Colorado. I mean, just check out this place. So y'all have seen uh, the drone footage that I flew right before we came onto the video. And uh, today we're gonna do something a little bit special. Do you know what we're doing today? Climbing the Ike Gauntlet. That's right, we're going to climb the Ike Gauntlet. Ryan has never been in Colorado before. This is his first time in driving a truck. And we've been training pretty much this whole last week and a half. So today we're going to put his skills to the test and we're going to go up the Ike Gauntlet and come down the other side into Denver. I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride. So buckle in and let's get into the video. Let's roll on. Now my wheels in motion and my windows open with the wind blowing in my head. I'm driving down the highway, gonna do this my way. I can feel it in the air. Here I go. Okay, so we've got the GoPros on the truck. We are just getting ready to leave the chain up area. How are you feeling right now, Ryan? Feeling pretty good and excited. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head out of here and we're gonna head up the famous Ike, uh, Ike Gauntlet 
which has been made famous by TFL Studios. If you are a fan of TFL car, TFL truck, they've got all sorts of videos that uh, they do reviews on ve vehicles. And this is what they call the world's toughest towing test. And we're not trying to test anything today other than Ryan's skills driving the truck. So what do you think of uh, the new Brake Push training program? Uh, I'm ecstatic, it's awesome. Uh, they started off with an amazing trainer already. And then they gave me you, gave you me. <laughs> Today has been a fun day because we actually got to sit and do some flying around and I hope you enjoyed that drone video. And as you can see, Mr. Ryan here is uh, not being distracted. He's looking forward, he's checking his mirrors as he should. He also uh, was very smart and watched my video about mountain driving and how to uh, drive through the mountains. And you can actually watch that video series that I did, which is a two-part series in the cards here. So what have you learned so far, Ryan? An abundance of things. I was terrified of mountain driving when I first started, but after watching your video and you helping me through the first mountain in Arizona, coming down to Phoenix, it uh, gave me a lot of confidence and <laughs> I absolutely love mountain driving now. Awesome. And I'm a very oddball because I'm ecstatic for winter driving too. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be a different story after I drive it the first couple of times. The great part about winter driving is no construction. That is true. But even though there's no construction, there are going to be slowdowns because obviously you have to drive for Same. conditions. We are officially going up the Ike Gauntlet right now. Ryan is downshifting. And he got it into gear. Now this, this stretch of highway is eight, eight miles long. Usually when they're doing uh, their, their towing test, uh, they're trying to make it up the hill in right around eight minutes, isn't that right? They would like to, I'm pretty yeah, sure. The I'll... closest to eight minutes. We're not even going to come close to eight minutes. We're probably going to get it done in about 15 to 20 minutes. Well, she's pretty warm, and we're running at 1,500 RPMs, and we're awesome. holding 47 for now, anyways. The one thing about truck driving that I have enjoyed the most in my career has been uh, training people on how to drive truck. And uh, Brake Push Transportation now has begun a training program for uh, inexperienced drivers. Um, we're not doing CDL training, so you do have to come to us with a CDL. But uh, if you're interested in learning more about the Brake Push Transportation training program, and you want to drive a nice, beautiful piece of equipment, 
around the highways of this country. There's going to be a link for uh, Breakwish Transportation in the uh, description below. And one day you could be like Ryan, driving up the Ike Gauntlet, driving up the Ike Gauntlet. Seeing probably some of the most beautiful scenery that you've ever seen in your life. This is definitely a dream come true. Now what are we going to do once we get up to the uh, tunnel and then start going down the downhill. What do we have to do first? We have to stop, pull over, check our brakes before we start to decline down the mountain. Okay, and then when we go down the mountain, what are you going to do as far as your gears? Start out in a lower gear than I did coming up. Okay. And let the jakes take over. Yep. And whatever the jakes can't do, you're going to do what kind of braking? I will assist them in stab braking. Correct. Just 5 to 10 miles an hour, just long enough to slow me down and then let off so I'm not burning my brakes up. See? He paid attention to my videos. We're coming to the end. We're getting there. We are. Once we hit the lights, that's when uh, the, the clock stops. And we're at 26 minutes and 22 seconds right now. Cool. 
Isn't this the toughest part of the mountain too, right this here? Is, yep, this is the toughest part. Num number one, because of the grade. And number two, because you're at the uh, least amount of oxygen. So we're just going to call it 28 minutes. You don't have to go up to him. I'm not. Okay. Okay, we're going to check our brakes and then we'll be right back after this. Okay, and we're back. We've got our brakes checked. Yes, sir. Everything looks good? Yes, sir. All right. Let's go into the tunnel. Look at Decker. He's a super trucker. Well, uh, in his defense, I am doing 45. Well, it's still 50 miles an hour, and he's doing at least 55, 60. Okay, we're starting our descent down the other side of the hill. Thank you. 
You got a nice controlled speed going down the hill. Nothing crazy, nothing out of control. So chain station or brake cooling area, one mile. Shouldn't have to have a brake cooling station as long as you drive properly. That's correct. You drive the truck, the truck doesn't drive you. And we are at 39 minutes and 30 seconds. That's how long it took to go up one side and down the other. And that didn't look like it was a good day for some, some Subaru owner. Oh, that looked really bad. It just happened too. That's sad. But it is a Subaru, so I'm sure there might be a couple of squared bruises and, and I have faith that they are okay. Yes, they will be absolutely fine. So we've got five and six percent grades for the next eight miles, but uh, we hit the top. We went through the hardest part on I-70, and Ryan did it like a champ. Um, we're going to continue on our drive, and then the next time you're going to see us, we're going to be parked, and we will close out the video. So. We had a great time today. Um, Brian was able to show a little bit of his skills going through the Ike Gauntlet. What do you think about that today? Uh, I had a little bit of a struggle, but up there at the top of the hill, but I enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. It was absolutely beautiful. And it's definitely a dream come true to see all of that. So. And that is what you get when you take a guy that's wanted to do trucking his entire life, put him in a truck, train him, and he's only a week in, so for him to be able to, to go through that and successfully uh, handle a mountain like that is really uh, a testament to uh, what he, the hard work that he's willing to put into it. So I know that he's gonna improve, things are gonna get better, and uh, you're gonna be seeing a lot more of this guy. And uh, you can definitely see some of him in some of the shorts that I have on YouTube right now. But as for now, if you enjoyed this content, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell so that you can be notified the next time my videos are uploaded to YouTube. Also, if you wanna see pictures that are not shown on YouTube, go to my Facebook and my Instagram pages, jjdrones360.com. But as for now, we appreciate you coming along for the ride with the both of us, and we'll see you later on down the road. Keep Bye, rolling. everybody.